Well, hello. Hello. Hi. I mean goodbye. <laughs> it is time to review Sonia Vucic with the song Goodbye, Shelter. Guys, I gotta say, she is bringing the drama on stage in Serbia. She looked like a drag act covering Amy Winehouse. This is not a slight, this is a good thing. She is really living this song, feeling this song, shaking with this song. I'm feeling positive about it. Oh, absolutely. I'm really loving this one. She, well, already on the, uh, the studio version, it sounded so, so good. She's such a great singer. And after seeing her live in Riga, I love it even more. She is just so good and I really like the song. It has a really good message and I don't know, it is amazing. It really builds up until a really high note and it's it's so good. I'm absolutely loving this one and I think Serbia, they're having good songs but this is one of their best for me. Yeah, I mean, I really, I was a bit worried the first time I saw it because I thought, oh, she's going to really overperform it live. Mm -hmm. um, and then in Riga, it was a bit more toned down. She's kind of, I think in Stockholm, she'll have built it so that the performance is really solid and that she'll have a good team behind her. Um, and yeah, the song is really good. I like the message. I prefer the way that this conveys its message to running, mm -hmm. where, I mean, that stage show was so over the top. I think that this... Yeah, I think that this will be a lot more tight on, uh, on the Stockholm stage. Now, on this over-the-top point, we <laughs> need to look at her performance. There was a lot of gesticulating, and this is supposed to be kind of the jerkiness of abuse being smacked around. And I don't know, at times, I think in the video, it was too mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. Not making fun of it, because that's not her intent, but it comes off that way. If you're like a random Eurovision fan watching the show, you know, on the Saturday yeah. for the first time, you'll be like, what is she doing? So I hope she tones it down in Stockholm so people don't think she's, you know, making fun of people who have twitches. Well, I do think it's a good thing that she's showing us that she's not afraid to overreact mm. and to, to show her emotions. That is really good. She's a real artist and she's totally going for it. Um, but yeah, I agree. It, yeah, for me, a little less would be better. But again, she is really good and if she can do it like that, um, it can be, yeah, it will be even better. <laughs> it's kind of the difference between being passionate and being over the top, I suppose, Ooh, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, yeah. if she can convey it as like, this is my story, this is what I want to say, mm -hmm. that could really work well, and the juries particularly could really react yeah. to this song, I think. And a final point, I think that the title, Goodbye Shelter, I don't like having shelter there. I think of a domestic abuse shelter, mm. and it's like hitting the message home too hard. Sorry, there, that sounded like a horrible pun, and I didn't mean it to, <laughs> but it, it hits it home too hard. And to me, it's kind of awkward. There's a fine line between kind of conveying a message and then kind of conveying a message. But she strikes the right balance on the whole. Mm. You guys, she is competing in the first half of the second semi-final. What do you think her chances are of qualifying? She will qualify. I'm pretty sure about it. I mean, her voice, her message. I think the juries will love her. They'll absolutely love her. And the people at home, I think you, when you see her on stage, you, you are like, oh, wow, what a big voice. And you will remember her because of that. And overall, it's just really good. And yeah, it's a weak semi-final and this is a good song. So this, yeah, it will be such a shame if she won't qualify, so no, she will go through. Yeah, I mean, at the same time as well, it's Serbia, and Serbia's track record is yeah. so strong. Yes, okay, Moja 3 was a bit of an off year, but we'll ignore that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, she'll definitely qualify. Yes, she's up against Dami Eam in the first half, that sec uh, the second semi-final, but I think SVT, whenever they actually release in order, will actually, hopefully, have placed them far enough apart, so. You know, I love Dami Eam, amazing vocalist, but sometimes she can be a little stiff on stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Sonia, she is not. She is loose. Yeah. She is oh, letting yeah. it on. Oh, yeah. yeah. She really impressed me in Riga. Um, it's yeah. time to give our scores, though, and my score was based on the pre-Riga performance. My score is a five. Now, this is not an insult. I think she's an amazing vocalist, and I think she'll do great with the juries. But I think the staging as it is now is just too much, and people will view it as a joke, when in fact it is not. But if she kind of 
tweaks that, makes it a bit more sober, I think my score would climb. Mm -hmm. uh, my score is an 8. Uh, like I said, I absolutely love it and it could be higher if I, yeah, if I see staging with... Um, Sorry. How do I with uh, less? Uh... Less, over less over yeah, the top. yeah. If I can see a staging that's less over the top, it might be higher. But for now, I think an eight is already great. And yeah, so an eight. <laughs> and my score is a seven point five. Um, again, I think when we see it in Stockholm, if she has just nailed that little bit here and there, I do think that this could be even higher in my rankings. There are, of course, 40 members of the Wee Jury all over the world, ranging in age from 16 to over 60. And when we take all of the scores into account, she has an average of 6.59. That's 6.59. Well, that's what we think. What do you think? You can let us know here on Ruby Vlogs. Make sure to subscribe. And make sure to like the video. <laughs> See you later. Yes. Bye! Bye.